Hello everyone. Well, I sold already one of those uh, nice um, spindle devices, which included a um, Pitman 30.3 volt DC with uh, encoder, which is 512 counts per revolution. The only thing I could tell you about the encoder is that I know I don't open it. I know this kind of encoder, they have a tiny, small, probably about an inch um, disc with, uh, I mean, with the resolution, in this case it's 512 counts per revolution. The Pitman motor is, a, is the number 92 360C 185-R4 This included the housing with the hold with bearings these nice um, pulleys and the extra pulley uh, here is to drive maybe the spindle or whatever you want Unfortunately, I don't have a smaller belt that is too large, this one, but anyway, I mean, it's, it's very hard to find uh, timing belts to fit in that. So this one actually is, uh, just let me tell you real quick. If we put a tension on it, I will talking about 15 inches, 15 inches timing belt. I'm include this extra because the part coming this way, where I say, well, what are you gonna do with this to drive a spindle or to drive a linear actuator? And beside that. I include this other nice um, this, um, that this other nice pulley with bearings at the end, and here you can actually hook up your spindle with a flex coupler, whatever. But the timing belt. What I said is the only one that I found that long. So I have to. I won't include it because it's the only one I have. Perhaps you have you put this uh, spindle. I mean, spin driver away from your machine. I don't know. Um, but I want to give something else. You know for. Would you have a full thing, completely full, th full thing? Um, the um, let me tell you, the big pull, the big pulley is about one inch and a three quarters, a little bit over one inch and a three quarters. The um, The distance between centers is about, uh, let's see, uh, three and a half inches between centers. I'm sorry, between centers is three and a half inches. Okay, the, the motor itself is three inches I mean I'm sorry two inches and a half and the encoder is about an inch and an eighth what I said is included the uh, the housing with the bearings and the mounting plate over here and this is a nice because you can actually make a little job in it and adjust you see this little uh, place you can actually adjust the tension of the belt 
whatever you design, I mean, every mine is different, but however, um, I try to looking for a belt to match the thits and both variants, but I don't find like this big one, but I want to let it go for. So I want to sell this for $39.99 and $9.75 for shipping. USPS parcel post and uh, well let's see if the motor works first of all no I mean it's something you need to know I want to apply I have a regular uh, variable regulator I have a variable regulator I actually the motor is 30 the motor is 30 volts so I is using a 20 volts DC power supply variable power supply to just make a test right now I'm running at 5 volts right there is a 5 volts 10 volts 15 volts 20 volts maybe 24 volts right there of course if you switch the wires going backwards Okay, well the motor is working properly, it's very quiet which means the optic encoder is, run, is running point two. I'm not able to text, test the encoder but it's uh, just four wires, a, I, uh, I know maybe it's A plus A minus, B plus B minus and it's a 512 what I told in the past I mean 512 counts per revolution the motor is very nice this is a great piece to um, to drive on a spindle or to drive on a linear actuator the belts going this way here what I say is a very long and then you pick up the other and if you have the belt I mean you have to remove first of all loose those hex to remove and then insert the belt and these two bearings so and the long what I said timing belt so well will be $39.99 and $9.75 shipping USPS parcel post for the guys from uh, um, Hawaii and Alaska I send it in a medium flat rate box for the $12 so I is going to tell you now but uh, in description I just want to say um, 975 for shipping Alaska and Hawaii email for quote but if they know because the last piece I sold it was in Hawaii and the guy told me well uh, you know the 50 states I I mean what you don't in, included well what I try to do is to save money for the 48 states guys to buy from and 
you know, a little bit, you know, because I need to build, build a box for, I could say 11, 12 dollars shipping, continental US, but I, what I want to say is, save money for the customers to be closer to where I live, or from the 48 US states, so, that's the only reason where I separate the other two states, which is Alaska and Hawaii. So anyway, Alaska and Hawaii is $12 in a medium flight rate box. And the 48 states is uh, $9.75. Um, USPS parcel post. If the state is closer to my to where I live in New Mexico, I may probably send it US I mean priority mail but it's not guaranteed as you say 975 for but I always do my best you know if I able to send priority mail and they don't cost me more I don't care to build a box and the time to invest to build a box for this but uh, I always try to help the best I could I honest and I try to you know to do my best when I sell something so $39.99 $9.75 for shipping and thank you for watching and I will take some pictures thank you